Hi, I'm Peter Orker from Peter Orker Piano Tuition. It's Tuesday again, so that means it's time for another Tuesday tip for better piano playing. Now, if you saw last week's, you might remember I went over some of the basics of preparation and anticipation, a technique which will improve confidence and accuracy when playing notes on the keyboard. I used a very simple example of a broken chord of G major, like this. Now, if you didn't see it, um, it's definitely worth your while checking it out. Um, all my videos are on YouTube, uh, so just pop over there, put Peter Orca Piano in the search box and it'll be very easy to find. And while you're there, why don't you subscribe to my channel? <laughs> that way you won't miss out on anything. Anyway, I thought this week um, that I'd want to build on those basic principles and look at how we might approach a real piece of music. I've chosen that well-known C major prelude from the Well-Tempered Clavier by Bach uh, to use as an example. Um, it's this one. I'm sure you'll recognise it. on. Okay, well, let's break this down a bit and see how we would tackle the first few bars. Here is an extract from the score. If you look at it, you can see how the notes very much resemble uh, the broken chords we were looking at last time. And these phrases can be grouped according to the chords used, like this. Sorry, I'm a bit wobbly with the pen today. So what does that sound like, uh, played as chords? Well, let's find out. I'll just play that section I played a little earlier, but this time as chords. Playing the piece as chords instead of a linear series of notes will ensure that your hands and fingers fall naturally into positions which will enable preparation and anticipation when you come to play the entire prelude like this. Thank you. 
Well, I hope you found that helpful uh, in encouraging you to group your notes into uh, positions where you can anticipate and prepare the notes and get your fingers in the right places before you actually have to play the note. That will give you much confidence and improve your accuracy generally. The next time um, I'll be looking at how to tackle a piece which doesn't fall into easy groups like that one did. Um, how do we enable good finger preparation in cases like that? Well, look out for the next Tuesday tip for better piano playing. And as I said, remember to check out my YouTube channel and please subscribe and feel free to like and share this video on Facebook. Thanks for watching and bye for now.